I'm going to be talking to Lucas Deeg, who is the Director of Commercial Management and Emerging Business at Capital Power in Alberta, but a very interesting carbon capture and utilization project that they're launching. So welcome to the interview, Lucas. Great. Thank you for having me. Now, you're going to take carbon uh, CO2 captured from the Genesee uh, generating station and turn it into carbon nanotubes, which then presumably will go on and be used to manufacture other projects and uh, air products. I think it's very cool. Uh, can you tell, get, give us an overview of the project, please? Yeah, absolutely. This is definitely a novel project. So the, the overall intent is capturing carbon emissions from our Genesee generating station, which is located outside of Edmonton. And it's one of our larger uh, flagship type of uh, facilities that we have within our fleet. So we'll capture those submissions and then using a novel process developed by a company called C2CNT, we'll use that to convert them into carbon nanotubes. And what carbon nanotubes are is think of on a molecular level, a hex hexagonal lattice that's rolled over into a tube and it comes with very unique properties that could be used in multiple types of applications. So it gives conductive properties as well as it can give tensile strength improvements to multiple types of materials. So the overall purpose of this project is to convert the CO2 emissions into this useful process or product that could be used in other downstream processes. Lucas, what other kinds of products can be made from a carbon nanotube? Are we talking like cloth for, you know, for clothing? Uh, are we talking materials like carbon fiber, uh, that sort of thing? Yeah, that's a, that's a very good question. So when you really think of it though, and where a lot of where our focus is on is to four very big primary areas. So you're looking at batteries inclusive of electrical vehicle batteries, which has a lot of promise for the use of carbon nanotubes, building materials like cement and, uh, and steel, and then polymers and as well as coatings. So where those could be used and where our where we're seeing some of the most upfront potentials in the building materials uh, sector. And the reason for that is it offers further emission reductions downstream of our own operations that creates really additional benefits from an environmental standpoint. So one example is on a concrete basis, you can put in a small amount of carbon nanotubes to increase the tensile strength of concrete which then reduces the need to have as much concrete. And through laboratory tests and other types of work, it's been estimated that one ton of carbon nanotubes can reduce 840 tons of emissions within the building material space. Now, Lucas, how much uh, uh, carbon nanotubes will be produced annually? Is it a lot, is it a little? And uh, what are the what's the likelihood that other you know, kinds of manufacturing opportunities will spring up uh, in Alberta to take advantage of the availability of the, of the nanotubes. So our current focus is on phase one of our facility, which is 2,500 tons of nanotube production capacity, which will make it one of the largest facilities in the world. And with that, and uh, where there's other opportunities or where we're seeing value, I should say, or potential customers are seeing values, it's twofold. One is the ability to have a nanotube produced from captured carbon emissions, um, making it almost like an eco tube. But the other one is also for it to be a home within North America, as a lot of the supply today is out in Asia. So those are two things that we're seeing a lot of attractive interests within our project. So from that, you also have pieces of putting into products that could be built into downstream customers processes that does create additional opportunities for Alberta as well as for Canada. Now you mentioned this is phase one. Um, it's it, will there be an opportunity to add to expand this at the uh, Genesee uh, maybe add it to uh, some of your other plants? That's correct. So our main focus right now is at the Genesee facility. So phase one is the key focus for 2,500 tons. And then two separate phases is being considered that would bring the capacity up to 7,500 tons. Great. Well, Lucas, thank you very much for this. I uh, appreciate your insights and good luck with your project. Great. Thank you so much.